actually got in very, very uh, dire straits about this song when I was in kindergarten. It's kind of a difficult thing to uh, to offend your kindergarten teacher when you're four years old, but apparently I managed it. <laughs> or perhaps more importantly, my parents managed it. Um, this, of course, is a uh, this was a, a school in Canada uh, where we still have pictures of the Queen on the wall, and um, Mrs. Lynn, bless her heart. Uh, see, I've been hanging around at the Ed Stewart, and you can hear me, I'm like, bless her heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mrs. Lynn, bless her heart, um, gave her little blonde pigtail charges um, the, uh, the, the homework of going and learning a new song to bring back to circle time. All the other kids went home, and they learned the Itsy Bitsy Spider and various songs from Sesame Street. I went home, and my parents being who they are, they looked one to the other and went, <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, when I went back into circle time the next day, again, all, you know, three foot of me with little pigtails, um, the other kids sang Itsy Bitsy Spider and various songs from Sesame Street, and I stood up, and right under the gaze of Queen Elizabeth II, I sang a fighting Irish, blood and guts of rebel Irish song. <laughs> song that I didn't really understand, I put my little fist in the air at the end and I went, down with England. <laughs>
past, the hoes fearless brave who fighting fall upon your hapless breast. True to the last, true to the last, he dreads the upward way.